In this video, we'll cover gradebook basics after you have set up your gradebook. Let's look at the choices along the top. We'll click on these little arrows to reveal more options. The members menu displays your course member list. If you have more than 100 students enrolled, click on the group that you want to view. If you have created grading groups, you will see them listed here. Click on a grading group name to view members of that group only. If you're unfamiliar with grading groups, make sure to watch my video on how to create and use grading groups in Schoology. The default view for members is to be listed by last name A to Z, but you can click here to sort them in a few other ways. The grading period menu allows you to switch grading periods. The gradebook will default to the current grading period, but you can switch to other periods. The categories menu defaults to all materials, but you can choose to view any category separately. The categories you will see here in your course will be those that you created in the course grade setup page. Choosing all category summaries will display one column per grading category and then display the current grade for each category for each student. The sort materials um, menu allows you to view your assignments in several orders by due date ascending or descending, or by date created ascending or descending. Choose whichever one works for you, and remember you can always come back and change that easily um, to view your assignments in various orders. The View menu allows you to highlight cells for a variety of criteria, which will help you better manage your gradebook. So you can choose to highlight cells that need grading or those that have not been submitted. The plus sign allows you to add assignments or other materials directly from this gradebook location. If you create an assignment, quiz, or discussion, here it will display on your materials page of your course as well. If the item has a due date, it will also display in the course calendar. Deleting an item from the gradebook will also delete it from the materials page and the calendar. The add gradebook uh, at, or the add grade column option allows you to add grades for a non-Schoology assignment. For example, let's say that in the middle of your science lesson you make an impromptu decision to have students create skits about moon phases. You can add a grade column to record those grades even though you have not previously created a Schoology assignment for those skits. The grade column exists only in your gradebook. It does not populate the materials page. Click on these three dots here to view some more options. The most important of these is the bulk edit area. The bulk edit area allows you to view all of your course assignments, tests, and discussions on a single page, as well as allowing you to make changes to many items at once. Please view my video about um, bulk, the bulk edit area to learn more about this really helpful tool. These little arrows here allow you to toggle the full screen, which gives you um, a, just a little bit more a view of your gradebook. Just above, this button allows you to quickly switch between gradebooks in your various courses. Now let's look at the columns. Students are listed here. This little graph icon allow, next to the student name allows you to view all the student grades uh, for one student. And this is similar to what a student or parent sees when they view grades. The next column is the overall grade for the student followed by the grade for the current grading period. These are calculated by the Schoology Gradebook based on how you did your grade setup. Next, you'll see columns for all of the assignments, discussions, etc. that are in your course. As you create assignments, discussions, or quizzes, they automatically populate the gradebook as long as you assign them a grading category. 
they're listed here according to the choice you made here within the sort materials menu. Assignments with no due date will appear at the beginning of the gradebook. All of these titles are hyperlinked, so you can quickly open a full assignment if you want to from here. You can also just hover over the title to view additional information, including category, scale, um, due date, and whether or not the item is published or unpublished. For any item, click on these three little dots here to view more actions that you can take for the entire column. So a variety of things. You can set all grades, which can be a helpful um, thing for teachers. It might be quicker for you to set all the grades to 50 and then make adjustments only to those students who did not receive the full 50 points. If students submit assignments electronically within Schoology, once you grade the assignment, those grades automatically populate the gradebook. If a student hands in a paper assignment, you enter the grade here manually. Hover in a cell to get a box where you can type the grade. You also get some other options. Click on the flag here if you need to flag, if you need to mark an assignment excused, incomplete, or missing. You can also click on the little speech bubble to add a comment. Check this box here if you want to display the comment to the student. In some cases, you may just want to type a note to yourself about the student's assignment, but at other times, you may want to make the comment available for the student to see. Click here and it will display in the student's grade report. Now let's look at some examples of submitted work. This icon shows that an electronic submission was made. This will display whether or not you have graded the submission. This it, icon indicates that the submission is a quiz. This is an online discussion. Clicking on any of those icons will open the entire student's submission, whether it's an assignment, quiz, or discussion. This symbol um, marks the assignment as incomplete. This symbol marks it as excused. Neither incomplete nor excused exceptions factor in to the student grades. This icon shows that a grade has been overridden by the teacher, and you can click on that to clear that override if, if desired. One last comment. Assignments, quizzes, and discussions populate the gradebook, calendar, and course materials simultaneously, and any, any changes you make in one area are simultaneously made in all areas. So if you delete an assignment in the gradebook, it disappears from the calendar and course materials page. If you change a quiz title in the gradebook, it changes it everywhere else as well.